How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be teaching you guys how to put other ores inside of other dimensions. Now, the reason why we're doing this video is because we got a comment on my last video three weeks ago, as you guys can see here. Ah oh, yes, now I can finally, uh, where is it at? Uh, can I put ores to be found in other dimensions? Now, of course, I've replied to it saying yes you can and I tried explaining it in the uh, comment. But I figured the best way to thoroughly show you guys how to do it is just by doing it ourselves. So you guys can make dimensions. You guys can find out how to do that. If you want me to show how to do that more in depth, let me know. But we're going to show you guys how to just do it in the normal two dimensions that we have inside of Minecraft. So let's go ahead and click on the plus button right up here. And we can go ahead and create a new block. Now, of course, you guys can go ahead and find out how you made ores in the last video that that person commented on. But let's go ahead and jump into this and make another block. Alrighty, so after you go ahead and have your block done, I have mine set as test block for the ore. As you guys can see, test ore texture is called a test ore because I don't actually want to make it a specific uh, thing I'm actually going to be using. You want to go ahead and click on generate or generation. By the way, before we get too much into this, I want to let you guys know that we now have a website. As you guys can see here, it says, Welcome to Dylan Plays Mods. Now, this is, of course, going to be the website you guys will be seeing. This will have everything you guys ever need to know. So, of course, you read it at the top, whatever you want to do, click here, and it'll take you to my mods page. It has all my different mods. And of course, it tells you about us, and then down here, we will have a list of mods that I've created and published. Every time I create a new mod, and you guys want to see what it is, you guys can always come to the website, and it will be right here in mods that I have created. They will all be right here. You click on the little Minecraft block above each one of these, and it will take you to the corresponding mod. And if you guys have any questions or how to do anything, and you guys can't get all of me through the comments... You guys can come down here and to get in touch, put your email or your name if you want to, um, your email. You don't have to put your phone number in. Do the subject and then type a message and then click submit. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out the website, feel free to. It will be down in the description below. Now, on the generation, what you want to do is it says dimensions to generate in. Leave empty to disable spawning. So you go ahead and click the little plus icon. Now, of course, you click a surface. That's where you can make it spawn in the surface or the nether, or the end. So this is more of a red or I guess you can say, but we're gonna put it in the end because, well, I just feel like it. Click OK, and then the blocks we want it to go ahead and fill, we wanna go ahead and click a little X button to clear it. Go ahead and click a little plus button, and then look up end, and then stone probably. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and add that. So that means it will now spawn in the end, and the block that it can replace is in stone. And then of course, you guys wanna go ahead and set these numbers to the corresponding area, so the lowest it can generate at, and the Y coordinates is zero, and the highest it can spawn at is 64. I'm gonna put that at 200 just to make sure it can at least spawn in the end, because depending on which world you spawn at, sometimes your end can be higher than normal, or it can be lower than normal, so, so if it's above, 64 then it might not spawn so you want to go ahead and change that and then we're going to go ahead and go 20 and 20 just to make it actually easy to see and you want to go ahead and click save mod element now i want to let you guys know you guys see all these different things on here that you guys see right now this will be a mod that will be released in the next couple of months i am creating a very big mod that have a lot of different things and it is going to be really fun to play and it's going to take some time to actually be able to play it and there's also some more stuff over here we got different types of torches we got different types of mobs that are going to be in right now we have two different types of mobs so we have its own custom loot we have its own custom mob and that's at least one of them. This is gonna be a poison mob. It can poison you, run a lot faster, and it looks different. So if you guys wanna make sure to play this, make sure to keep up on the website. If you guys go to the website and everything, you will see when this mod is released. I no longer have, I do not have a name for the mod yet. But in my next video I do for how to do mods or how to create something, I will let you guys know if this becomes named. Now, if you guys have a name for it, let me know what you guys think it should be. So now that you got everything saved, you no longer have anything, let's go ahead and click Run Client. And as you guys can see, by the way, there is a background that kind of shows off my mod. Um, 
It's just called Minecraft Overloaded. It's not the name of the mod. It's just kind of something I made up. Uh, if you guys want to figure out how to do this too, if you want me to show you how to do this, I easily can. And as you guys can see, as we're loading in the end, it's a little laggy right now, sorry about that. But we now have our ores. As you can see here, it's called test ore. It doesn't drop anything, it doesn't actually do nothing, it's just there. But you guys can go ahead and have an ore spawn. But that is how you spawn ores inside of another dimension. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If it helped you out at all, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you have not already, and make sure to check out the website down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.